Hello fellow alchemists, welcome to Arty Crafty Alchemy. Today I am sharing with you Daiso illustration markers. I'm the Arty Crafty Alchemist, let's get started. There are other colour selections. I bought this one and this one I think to start with. I don't remember what the second packet of colours I bought were, so I was very cautious when buying my next. They do have browns, greys and other colours. There was more blues and I assume reds. It sometimes does depend on which Daiso you go to. In the city there are four Daisos. We sometimes make it to three, sometimes we only make it to two, sometimes we only make it to one. So it just depends. The one that I went to to get most of these was the one across from the University of Sydney. I can't remember what the building's called. I'm not from Sydney, so I don't remember what the building's called, but there's a shopping centre across from UTS and they used to have a huge Daiso, but they've recently chopped it in half. It still has a lot of products though, so I can still find some stuff there. I did manage to spend a good chunk of money there last time I was there. I have ruled up a swatch card for these. So we'll grab one out and have a look. These are not brush markers. They a fine tip and broad tip. They have a nice fine bullet tip, a big chunky chisel tip, and the fine tip has the little grey ridge so you know which side it is. The next colour is orange. Whoa that one's a bit woofy. Very strong smell. I'm just going to grab this because I don't know if it's me or this marker. It's this marker it my chisel tip is not working. Next is pink, light purple, lavender. I don't think I saw a clear but don't quote me on that. I was too busy looking at all the pretty colours. There was some I actually put back but try to be good. I only actually wanted to buy five packets. I ended up buying six in the last trip. Violet blue. I have to say the colours are very vibrant, especially compared to the Kmart ones. Next is Prussian Blue. I tried to put them in some semblance of order, but as you'll see, I think I may have got it wrong, but what can you do? I was just going by what caps and what they said. Ultramarine Blue. Water Blue. And then I grabbed these because they had two very pale colours in them. This is Silky Blue. And this is where I got it wrong. That would make a very nice sky colour, I think. I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbours doing karaoke. Every time I go to film, I start singing. Next is turquoise blue. These two colours look like they would work really nice together. I missed a colour somewhere. Mint green. I forgot to write down turquoise green, which probably should have been there, but never mind. Green. Silky green. and turquoise green. I'm going to try and find a scrap of paper. I'm going to grab this one. This was just me testing out an ink. If you're curious, for the cheaper stamps, the acrylic stamps, this is Nouveau Shadow Black. I don't have the black, but I'm interested to get it because I was using this on some cheap Rosie's the craft stall acrylic stamps and it works really well. I am really sorry for the music next door. They just keep getting louder and louder. I'm going to try mint green and silky green because they look like a good match. I'm going to use the chisel tips to save some time. They seem to blend really nicely. Prussian and water. I think there might be too big of a gap, but we'll try and see what happens. They're very juicy markers at least. Let's try laying down the lighter colour first and then going over it with the darker. That's a little bit better. About light green and green. Not so good a match. So again, I'm going to put the light colour down first. Dark colour. Didn't work. I think I put too much of the dark colour. So try again. Nope, not a good colour blend. Of course you could do tip to tip, which would make them blend easier. Violet and lavender. I'm going to go straight over this stamping, it doesn't really matter. I'm 
again not super great there is a big gap in the colors what about pink and purple it looks very pink after you do it onto the pink again they don't really blend very well as I said though I don't actually have all the colors there are more colors that would fill in these gaps I believe grab another scrap of card and see how ultramarine and Prussian go together these two do go together nicely so if you can get the colors that go together and they do blend nicely it's just a matter of probably having most of the colors they have I didn't have a list of what I had I wasn't hundred percent sure I was trying to be very careful what I bought so I didn't get doubles at the time another thing we can test is how well they layer I'm going to grab the yellow and just do a single layer of yellow second layer third layer so while that's drying because it's taking a little while to dry because of all the layers I have my Gina K amalgam ink which must need re-inking because instead of being black it's gone gray it's still juicy and wet so I don't understand why it's done that as you can see it looks like it needs re-inking give that a second to dry and I'm going to do one more layer of the yellow I'm not sure if you can see I can see there is a clear transition the yellows going down we have a paler yellow here slightly darker slightly darker again and then hopefully that will be darker again but it takes a while to dry once you hit the other layers it reactivates them all and then all the layers have to dry again I try this flower in pink color the whole thing pink they are giving super smooth blends which is what we want I'm going to grab the light purple and add in some details. This is just rough colouring. I'm not being careful at all. I'm going to place the yellow in the middle and then while it's still wet, drop in spots of the orange over it with the yellow again we have a not too badly colored flower here is the Nuvo black shadow ink I'm talking about I am not sure if they have another color darker black I hope so I plan to have a look because I'm using a proper photopolymer stamp here but this is the one that I seem to get the best impression with with my cheap stamps the ones that are not photopolymer but acrylic like Rosie studio and Kaiser craft time I'll lay down water I'm going to grab the turquoise again I'm not being super careful here this is just for the video and then I'm going to tip to tip going the wrong way I'm going to tip to tip and pull in some extra color I did it a little too long and that gives us a nicely blended flower going to do the same again again I did it way too long <laughs> one more time I'm not good at this tip to tip thing I haven't practiced it often one two and that was probably three one two three well drew on my swatch getting better at it it's all in judging how big of a space you need to fill even though I want this one to be pretty dark I'm still going to start with the lightest color and do tip to tip I'm just going to give it a nice yellow center and there we have a pretty flower again I'm not well versed in the tip to tip but I think it turned out pretty well and nicely blended we have some nice color transition the petals that are more in shadow are darker and it looks pretty good this one I didn't do any blending so it did look a bit choppy but I do like how that turned out as I said I much prefer these to the Kmart markers they have that vibrant punch of 
colour that you expect from alcohol markers whereas the Kmart ones seem to be quite washed out and watered down with whatever the alcohol carrier is for these markers. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Daiso Illustrator markers. On them they are called Fluently. As I said I don't have all the colours that would blend really nicely but if you know how to do the tip to tip could practice doing the tip to tip I got better as I went along and there are other colors that I imagine fill in the gaps they don't have any numbers on them so you can't go by a numbering system you do actually have to actively swatch what you have they are $2.80 for a twin pack so $1.80 each in Australia I believe Daiso in the US is $1.50 per item so that would make them 75 cents each in the US it's gone up recently in which case I don't know but they are still really cheap markers if you're wanting to try some alcohol markers out I would suggest maybe trying to pick from two color families to start with if you are just testing them out depending on what you are coloring if you're coloring flowers I would go with greens and whatever other color you choose I am sure there are reds I know there are browns I know there are grays but I can't offhand tell you what the other colors are I should have taken some pictures we were running very late that day and I was in a bit of a rush <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this look at the Daiso Fluently illustration markers. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. I will have my website, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter linked below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. I just noticed something else. Each of these marker packs has a number. 29, 24, 5, 4, 25, 26 and 2. It's very small but I'm hoping that corresponds with what pack they are. I'm going to write that number next to the colours that came in those packs so that next time I go back if I decide to get more then I can see what I have. I'll take a picture of this swatch and another thing I wanted to mention is I found these calligraphy marker pens. They have a brush end, the chisel end and this is how I found the number because this one has number four on it so I have pink and purple because purple. This is the brush end and it's a somewhat firm nib and then on the other end we have a chisel tip which obviously I am not good at using. It's a bit strange tip to use it is not angled really it is quite straight and the pink one I do not know if these are water soluble or much about them if they have blendable colors if you are interested in me doing a review on these let me know because if I get enough people interested I will buy some more next time I'm in Sydney if I can you never know what Daiso is going to have if you are interested in me doing a review of the Grafu calligraphy marker pens leave a comment below and let me know that you are if you've used the Daiso markers before let me know let me know what you think of them thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time bye